Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. Today I'm going to show you an interesting way you can use conditional rendering on search layouts. It's probably not the most common scenario, but it illustrates the power of combining various features in Avada to get your desired outcome. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. I've imported the Pet Supplies pre-built site here, and I've updated the site with postcards and layouts to help illustrate my example. So what we want to look at in this video is how the search element works, and how we can use conditional rendering with it. So let's start by looking at how a basic search works. If I search for leash in the search bar in the header here, the results page looks like this. We have different types of results here including a couple of products, and a blog post as the search element here is not limited to any particular post type. In this case, the style of the results here is determined by a simple postcard archives element I have added to the search layout content layout section. The design of this postcard works fine for the blog posts, with the date and the category and featured image, but it doesn't work so great with the products as they don't have a price. So what could we do here to improve this? We could limit the search field in the header to only display a particular post type, or perhaps set it to not show one particular post type such as products, and you would search for them while you're in the shop section of the site instead. Another alternative would be to just create a very simple postcard that would work for all post types. Yet another option we have is that we could make different postcards for different post types, and place these into the search content layout section, and then use conditional rendering on the columns we place them into, to determine which postcard to use in the search results. Let's look at how this could be achieved. Ok, so let's start with Avada Layouts. Here you can see that on the Products Layout and the Custom Shop Layout, I have added a new header. This is simply a duplicate of the global header, with two very simple changes. I have limited the search element to Products, and I have changed the placeholder to say Search for a Product. And these two layouts have conditions that determine they are used on all products for the first one, and for all the shop pages on the second one. So on all products and on all the shop pages, this header will be displayed and search limited to only products. Ok, so far so good. Now let's look at the search layout. I'll just edit the search content layout section. And here we can see there's a column with the postcard archives element using the search postcard and a separator underneath that, and then a column with some shop categories and a banner at the bottom. Ok, so here we're going to add a second column with a different postcard. But before we do that, let's just edit this top one, to use our product postcard. Now you can see prices and cart icons etc, a much more suitable postcard for products. Note how here in the preview we are seeing blog posts using this layout, that's just because I haven't set the preview to only products. If I go to the taxonomy options tab, and the layout section tab, I can select the archive type to be products and click preview. And the postcard updates to only show us products. But remember, that's just a preview. Ok, so now we need to add the conditional logic. I'll edit this column that the postcard is in, and head to the Extras tab. Here I'll add new rendering logic. I'll select a condition type of get variable, and in the variable name, I'll add post underscore type. I'll leave this one as equal to, as that's what we want in this case, and in the condition value, I'll add the post type of product. So what that says is to get the check variable in the search results URL, and if there is a variable of post underscore type which is equal to a value of product, then render this column, and hence use this postcard. So now let's duplicate this column, and edit the postcard archive element in that second column. Here we will select the original postcard, the one called search postcard. And now if we go to the extras tab and edit the conditional logic, this time we will change equal to, to not equal to. So this conditional logic says that if there's not post type equals product in the variable, then we render this column instead, and use the search postcard to render the results. Got it? If not, don't worry, I will show you how this works on the front end in just a minute. Before we do that however, I want to return to the layout page and edit the global header layout section. Here I will just edit the search element, and select everything except the products, thereby excluding that from the search results here. Ok, let's save that. And now let's come to the front end. I'll just refresh the page. Ok, let's search again for leash. 
Now we don't get any products in the search results this time, and the search postcard is being used. And now if we head to the shop, we can see the search placeholder is different, and so we know that this is our other header layout. If I search for leash here, we get two products, and we can see that this is the product postcard being used for the results. That's pretty cool. Okay, there are no doubt many possible uses for this. We use it ourselves for the documentation search on avada.com. You will note there how a search in the Help Center for layouts, for example, takes us to a results page with a simple postcard being used. But if I head to a 404 page, where there is a general search bar, if we search for layouts there, it excludes docs and uses a different postcard. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know in the comments if you have used an interesting combination of rendering logic, postcards, and search result layouts. This concludes our video on using conditional rendering on search layouts. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.